Besides, how you doing? It's Henry. I'm always in blues. Good morning. Rainy day, off and on, so I'm in between my garage. This is the last of the lawn push lawnmowers that I got from my friend Nick Iardi over in West Islip. Had a Honda engine on it, 21 inch. It's, it's a Troy built uh, front self propelled mower. It's pretty good. Front wheels are okay, rear wheels are good, and uh, he gave it to me because the customer that gave it to bring it to him to fix it uh, didn't want it anymore. So he just gave it to me because he had to clear out his backyard from Mother Load 36. So looking at it, I hate working on Hondas because if it doesn't, if the engine doesn't work, you'll pull your hair out trying to figure it out. I just hate them. Uh, Carburetor issues are bad, and as you can see here, I just noticed it. <laughs> it has the linkage sticking out. I don't know why. Also, it's missing and a broken bail handle cable. So, I'm going to have to do a little bit of investigating here. Number one, I should go get a new bail handle cable. I've got a few. We're going to try out a few. So I don't really remember this. I don't work on Honda engines too much because they always give me a hard time. I don't remember what this is for, uh, but it looks like it's attached to the brake kill mechanism. So when you're start, when you're pushing down the bail handle, it releases the brake off the flywheel and this thing pulls something over here. The only thing over here is the choke mechanism, which once you take it to choke and start it, it slowly moves off a choke like it is right now and goes to run and allows the flap to open and allow full air. But I don't know what this is. So first though, we're gonna have to get rid of this broken cable here. So as you can see, it was cut and it's no longer on this. So there's nothing there and there's nothing here. I should be able to find a cable that's short enough to just be able to disengage the brake off the flywheel. So I didn't find the exact one, but I got one that's for an MTD one, which is this thing. It's a little precarious, but some black tape here and it works. That's the most important part of it, is that it works. So I don't know what that linkage is for, so I'm gonna check the oil and the gas, and we'll just give it a few pulls. You just have to make sure this thing doesn't move around too much, that's all. Some black tape on here, electrical tape, to just hold it in place. As long as the plastic stud is in the hole, holds it in this position. You just want to make sure it stays there, that's all. Fixed! Good as new. Check the gas real quick. There's gas in it. it smells like gas, albeit ass gas. A Honda dipstick. All right. Some good oil, right to the line too. Sometimes you stick your finger in there and if it touches your finger right at the threads, it's pretty good. It's not exactly there. But the dipstick says it's good. And do you turn it in and test it? Because if you turn it in and test it, it's right at the line. But if you just stick it in without putting the threads, about half that line. I always feel like you should turn it all the way in to test. Either way, it's not the line when you do that. So you know I always like to think of the narrative of why this was brought in for service, right? It's got no cable, see? We didn't attach that linkage yet because we don't know what it is. Uh, at least I don't know what it is. What if the guy was mowing? It was mowing just fine. All of a sudden, the cable broke, and he didn't have the mechanical inclination of how to fix it, or didn't want to, so he brought it to Nick to fix. Didn't really care so much, blah, blah, blah. He says, ah, you know what, I don't want it anymore. I bought another one. 
So maybe the engine just runs fine and just needs the cable. Could we be so lucky? I do have to figure out what that linkage is for, but let's give it a couple pull. It's an auto start. It's a toy built uh, mower, 21 inch. Honda engine, 190cc, I think. Anyway, I hate them. It's like a 160 GCV or something like that. I wonder if the, now this cable feels okay. Not great, okay, for the self pull. All right, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> what do you guys think? The start, five pulls? I'll do 10 pulls. Feels good. Oh, you know what? I should put the choke. Yeah. Okay, that didn't, those two didn't count. You have to put the choke. Okay, pull number one on choke. Oh, you know what? Look, the fuel shut off is engaged. Well, that's good. So now we're releasing the hounds. <laughs> Everybody say it together. Trickle, trickle, trickle. It's trickling into the carburetor. Well, that's the thing is, if the guy didn't even know how to fix the uh, brake cable, is he going to remember to do the fuel shut off? Maybe Nick did. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. It's on choke. Fuel's flowing. Should be. Not even a little. Not even a little bit. Spark plug is attached. Maybe that linkage has something to do with it, because once you engage that thing, it pulls something. Hmm, that's interesting. I might have to take this cover off, just so we can see what the hell's going on. Fortunately, it's actually pretty easy to take this off. It's just three 10 millimeter bolts, nuts. The pull rope can be oiled a little too. It kind of sticks. This comes right off. And this whole thing comes right off. Gas tank on it too. So here we go. Where did that linkage go? And was it like this? Is it pull something here? Did it, does it go here? Holy cow, it goes in here. What does this do? Oh, this. Oh, this pulls this like that. Oh, genius. There you go. That's what it does. It pulls that. So if you have it on choke, like that. Oh, wait a minute. Does it move by itself? Does it do that itself? Well, if you do this, and then you pull the thing, it starts to move. Okay, so that holds it there. When you engage the cable, it allows it to go to run. That's ingenious. That's great. At least we know where... I don't remember any of that stuff, all right? I think that's pretty cool. While we're here... It looks pretty clean. It's almost never the spark plug, you know? I hate it when everybody says, Oh, you know, I changed the spark plug and air filter. It's almost never the spark plug, you know? Anyway, uh, looks like we might have to blow some jism into the um, carburetor just to see if it turns over. But for now, this was easy enough to diagnose as to where that linkage went or fits. But that shouldn't have affected our starting attempts because it was on choke. Uh, let's take this cover off. Oh, you see, well, so sometimes it is the air filter. If this is, I mean, this is just, it just looks dirty, but it's not really that dirty. It's just dark, right? 
But if you look on the inside element, it's actually green with not a lot of stuff in it, you know? So this is actually okay. You put it up to the light, if you could see light through it, it's still okay. It should work. Let's blow some jism in there. See if it turns over. You gotta make sure that the um, choke flap is, oh, it's stuck open. That's why it wasn't starting. It's stuck open. Well, that's no good. I'm gonna have to close that, you know? Let me blow some in here first. And then manually close it with my fingers. It's holding it open. Like the linkages are all jacked up. Once I close it with my fingers, it stays open. And then do I have to take this sandwich off? I'm taking the sandwich off. See? I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I'm gonna screw everything up, I know it. There was a uh, metal, a thin metal thing <laughs> that had to go on the other side of the thing, which held it open. It wasn't touching. Now it is. Uh huh. And when you pull this, it closes. an acorn falling all right now i think it ought to work it was like a thin metal piece piece of sheet metal that was holding the flap with tension and it wasn't clipped on the other side of it so it's just like that now that i pulled it over it's holding the thing which holds the uh thing closed but now i'm going to engage the bail handle and that thing should go back by itself. It doesn't. The flap is still closed. All right, let's start it. Remember, I blew some jism in it. Oh, wax element is getting hot. 
great, really smooth. There ain't nothing dirty about that carburetor. Runs on full choke, runs on full run. Uh, Self-propulsion works, I adjusted this to tighten, meaning that this cable comes out a little bit, therefore stretching the wire a little bit. So once you touch it, before when I pulled it all the way over here, it started engaging. Now you just pull it a little bit and start engaging. Variable, you know, so you pull it a little, helps a little. You put a lot, it helps a lot. Tightens the belt around the pulley for the self-propulsion. But so far sounds great. <laughs> Until it doesn't start. So this is good to go. Everything seems pretty cool. This is pretty clean. Let's see if it runs with it. Doesn't run well with the air cleaner, then you need to change the air cleaner because it's blocking some of the air that it needs to mix with the gas. Correct air gas mix. Good to go. So I have a bag for it, but it's on that other cheapo push mower that I have listed for 150. So I'm gonna go get that and put it on here to take pictures. And which one, whichever one I sell, I'm gonna put the bag on there. Get it? Yeah. So I took this off of the other one, just a push mower. This is gonna fetch more money because it's uh, self-propelled. Pretty sure it'll fit. Yeah, perfect. Now we got a toy built self propelled mower with a Honda engine on it. I mean, once I clean this baby up, I should get about, I don't know, $200, $225 for this. Looks great. Uh, well, it doesn't look great yet, but look what I'm going to do. That's right. We're going to super clean it. This is not the foaming action kind. This is the regular from Concentrate kind. Uh, this is the, the base thick one, which everybody buys. On a big bottle, you fill up jugs. This is their main product. This is some powerful stuff. You can't even breathe it in. Hey, if it wasn't powerful, it wouldn't work. So how about it, guys? <laughs> Changed the bail handle brake cable. Fixed the linkage over here. Fixed the uh, choke flap mechanism. Did a little bit of jism in there. Starts right up, runs great. Adjusted the variable drive handle for the self-propulsion. Use some super clean to clean it up. Looks like brand new. You know what? I'm gonna put this up for 250. Take as low as 175. It's a good little negotiating buffer area there. Super easy fix, fellas. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have to tear into this engine because I hate Hondas, but this one runs great and now it looks great. I've got a bag for it. This could sell for pretty good money. Thanks all for joining me, fellas. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. next time on Mowers and Blowers.